In December of 2016, myself and Richard Hamilton were invited onto um, Conscious Communities on CCN. Um, CCN stands for Conscious Consumer Network. And um, the reason it's called Conscious Consumer Network is because that's their their target audience. They're you know looking to speak to conscious consumers as opposed to the unconscious brain dead ones. Um, anyway, so um, Richard Hamilton and I were on there, and uh, we got interviewed about paradigm shift in educational comedy, and um, turn about being fair play. Um, we ended up um, inviting um, Mel V, which is short for Melanie Verme. Um, we invited her on the PSEP to, um, to interview her about um, CCN and, uh, you know, bring out the awareness of CCN to our viewers and so on and so forth. And we pretty much had the, um, um, just about every everybody on board for that one. It was a pretty, uh, um, a pretty uh, jam-packed room there. And um, we all had a lot of fun. Um, anyway, just before the the turn of the new year, um, apparently um, Melanie just kind of enjoyed the experience with us uh, so much that um, PSEC itself was offered um, a time slot in CCM, and of course we accepted. And um, Basically, as far as how all that's going to work, um, you know, you might be thinking, well, is is the uh, the PSEC on on CCN going going to be just like the episodes that are already on the YouTube channel broadcast over there? Are they going to be different, or what's going what's going on with that, etc.? Um, well, for the moment, I'll tell you that. Um, they're going to be, um, it's going to be pre-recorded stuff put together, you know, in, in, in the editor. Even though CCN, yes, they do have the capability of doing things live in, in the time slot. And I'm not saying that we're never going to do that. I mean, you know, maybe we will. But for now, um, I'm putting together eight episodes um, in advance. So that's once a week. So, you know, that's uh, two months worth in advance. And... Um, as far as exactly how that's going to go down, I've actually um, made a piece of uh, piece of interesting content that's going to be slapped, you know, um, in the middle or several times or, or whatever, you know, in these episodes that explain to the people watching um, the CCN streams um, exactly what's up, and um, you know, of course, it. it simultaneously gives explanation to our regular, uh, you know, PSEC watchers and so on. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to open us up with the, um, the, the PSEC, um, intro that, um, is basically the, the, uh, the regular, um, PSEC intro plus and, and minus a couple of things you'll see. Um, then I'm going to toss in the short explanation and history of CCN as far as, you know, in the words of Melanie Verme, and um, then I'm going to, you know, toss in the the little, you know, slide in uh, piece that I that I just mentioned, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to, to let all the content itself um, do the rest of the talking so that I can shut the hell up and and not end up making this like a, a jillion minute uh, PSEC episode because it totally doesn't need to be that. I'm just trying to let you guys know some stuff. It doesn't need to be longer than it has to be. So without further ado, here we go. It's all it's right all to right. be just, just a little bit crazy. Being, being creative, creative is being a little bit crazy in just the right vibration. With that, With that in mind, you should understand, understand God's, God's completely God. insane. <laughs> An educational comedy. It's not a cause. 
not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on to. It's an idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. A genuine expression. A certain Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, two egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, stringy, politically incorrect, your current global style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. Which invites you to be you to the fullest. Mainstream media exists for the purposes of indoctrination and manipulation of public perception. The world of free and independent media is growing, and with the upsurge in information now available in the public domain, it has never been easier to access free and independent media. The exploration of this information resulted in an experimental project which would provide a fully supported space for researchers, whistleblowers, and seekers of all kinds to express themselves and educate the world. On the 1st of January 2015, Conscious Consumer Network was launched to the world. Nobody thought we would make it this far, but CCN is the longest running free and independent media network of its kind. CCN is a unique collaboration of hearts and souls bringing you information from different perspectives to educate and inform. Since we started CCN, we have had only one desire, the pursuit of a free, fair, just, sustainable world, and this has not changed. Having overcome many challenges over the last two years, CCN is here to stay, and we've got great things lined up for 2017. You are watching Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy Special Edition presentation designed for broadcasting on Conscious Consumer Network Independent TV. The Special Edition segments are meant to take the best of the best of Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy, mixing and mashing the clips and redesigning them into a brand new derivative work for the purpose of both informing you and entertaining you. Each show will also air on the PSEC Documentary YouTube channel one week after they are streamed on CCN. It is our intention to inspire others to view the negative as a positive opportunity for positive change, because without compassion in our actions, one is merely aware, but not necessarily awake. A platform of compassion and not falling for divide and conquer division tactics is the only way to bring in a new and better world that is not run by psychopaths. Speaking of psychopaths, we are here with Slick Willie, aka former President Bill Clinton. Mr. Clinton, has the rise of compassion within the human spirit caused any interference with your ability to rape women and molest children? And has this created any unforeseen phenomenon while you and your buddies worship that funky looking stone owl during your cremation of care ceremonies at Bohemian Grove? Well, Mr. Kelso, I tell you, this uh, new conscious energy has been uh, really hard on me and my wife Hillary. Uh, it's making it very, very difficult for me to do my presidential 
ex uh, presidential rape campaign. It's making it very difficult for me to keep it up anymore. I got to keep a uh, line of Viagra constantly flowing into my veins to get it up. I can't even rape children like I used to. I've partaken in a lot of crazy shenanigans over the years, but 2017 has been one triggering year for me and the old pig. I mean, Hillary. Uh, my wife has become uglier and uglier and uglier. I have to put a bag over her head just to stick my slick in there. I'm afraid I might get diseased. After all, she's been on the campaign so long, she's starting to get AIDS or some sort of contraction of some sexual disease, that carpet munching pig. It just drives me nuts. My daughter, she's she's out banging more dicks than I know what to do with, including mine. <laughs> My buddy Dick Cheney, we went out on a hunting act, on a, I mean a hunting trip, not a hunting accident. He 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 has a tendency to have those every now and again out around the Bohemian Go Grove grounds, and uh, these energies have been so harsh that. The gun accidentally malfired and shot my dick off, and I had to get surgery done. It's now this robotic uh, replacement now, and it, it uh, sometimes has an electronic spasm and goes out of control. And I just can't, I can't fucking stop it. It's like the Slick 5000, but as to the political stage, it's, it's, it's very, uh, it's very confusing. Vladimir makes fun of me. He likes to leave. Uh, uranium encrusted uh, dog shit on my porch yeah, and yeah. he likes to harass me and, and, and make fun of me and, and laugh at me and tell me that I'm a loser that I lost the election and um, you know he calls me a little bitch boy it really hurts my feelings and you know I, I thought I was gonna be able to, to rub it in his face I was gonna rub it in Putin's face I'm really triggered. These energies are really triggered. But it's not fair. It's not fair. My wife should have been the president. Madam President. I should have been the first man. I mean, the first bitch. I mean, I mean the first whore. I mean, the, yeah, the first man. I want to be screwing interns again. Not even a, not even a, 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 a drip of Viagra on an IV can, can help me anymore I can't I, I'm, I'm just I'm just losing my mind it's just getting crazy for me I just can't do it I feel like I'm going insane like like my body's corroding and collapsing on me uh, I just I just can't I just can't do it I, I now I'm on now I'm on oh my god I think he's dead Dave, I think you killed Clinton. So much for a new world order, but uh, based on what he was describing, sounds like maybe there's a bit of new world odor going on. His corpse looks like a bag of odors and tricks. Yeesh. Gonna have to clean that shit up. Oh, and now it's leaking Viagra-encrusted diarrhea all over my floor. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I'm shit in educational comedy. Situational comedy. Yeah, well, there there you have it, folks. Um, the rise of, of compassion is just uh, taking, taking those psychopaths and just they're just becoming triggered little zombies that are just, yeah. Uh, although don't worry, we'll be we'll be seeing Bill again. I'm I'm sure they got a got a clone of him in the frozen locker, you know, someplace, uh, or so they say. Although some people are awake, there still seems to me that I know this is controversial, so I'm just going to say it right out. If you have passion, you're not awake. That's that's what I do. Yeah. Okay, you can't claim to be an awake and aware person and lack compassion. So, for example, yes, there are people, you know. Um, and, and, and there's there's lots to be said about this and that and the next thing, but there's compassionate ways in which to go about it rather than attacking. And we as a society, and I've noticed this program, and it's so sad because you've got a lot of these truth, um, truth uh, speakers, truth seekers waking up, coming into this movement, um, you know, jumping into the communication mix on various social media platforms, and they've got what I call the Jesuit punitive programming. 
okay, which is um, if someone's done something bad, you know, blah, 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 they must be punished, even if it's a verbal lashing. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm thinking that it really is about isolating this punitive aspect of our thinking of, you know, um, damage and retribution. You know, if, if you're in pain, you've got to seek vengeance kind of thing. And there is very much this thing inside the human psyche. <coughs> Um, and I suppose it does take a lot of uh, calm, discipline, I don't know, yogi awareness, whatever you want to call it, sort of, you know, certain silence, whatever you have to do to rid yourself of that anger and come to a place where, you know, even though you've been hurt, you don't project your pain onto others, rather you show compassion and empathy for the pain of others because you've suffered too. Yeah. That for me is awareness, okay? It's not, you know, ah, let's get our pitchforks out and let's go, you know, kill these guys because they're yeah. bad. Don't forget the, don't forget the fake positive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm positive, see? Don't you dare tell me otherwise or you're of a low frequency. <laughs> he is attached to you. If you tell me I'm not positive. Oh. You know. Exactly. Is that, I get this all the time with where people say, oh, why do you focus on such negative stuff? Because you know a lot of the work we do is exposing the darkness. And I love your what you said there. It's not that I, I focus on the darkness. I'm a very happy, positive person because guess what? I shine light into dark places. For me, that's a positive, positive, positive. That's not a negative, negative, negative. It is absolutely about putting positive into a bad situation to manifest a positive outcome, which hopefully is awareness of the situation. Yeah, totally, totally. Oh, no, 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 no.